Yeah, but now I don't want to talk. That's it. Okay. <laughs> I told you you were going to shut the toes, Sarah. This sheet gets me going. Is it actually on? Yep. Guys, welcome back to our channel. Um, this it's showtime, baby. Podcast number one. David My name is Keys. This is Kevin. <laughs> this is David. Hi, guys. So. Oh, you're so, me and the two lads are back again. <laughs> so, what's up? So, today's video, uh, like the for... video. <laughs> oh, you're so professional! <laughs> oh my god, I was like, am I actually doing this video? So okay, what are we doing? Yeah, 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 what are you doing when you're talking? Like, <laughs> you're on the stage. You're talking to your camera now, so where do we look? You can, like, glance the camera like. Hey guys, what's up? So today we're doing another video on Ask the Client. So I did this video before, if anyone's seen it, with Angel. Just asking, uh, I asked her a few questions about how she got on. It's uh, much more personal and uh, better than just a post. You get to first hand see how the client's got on and what exactly they thought of it. And any questions you may have, uh, we should cover in this video. So introducing Megan and Erica. <laughs> so Megan and Erica, are, have we been working together for five months now? Yeah. Five months. Yeah. So we're just going to ask, we're just going to talk about how we got on basically. How are you, Jeff? We're going to talk about how we got on basically over the last five months. I'm going to ask some questions and we're just going to discuss, discuss everything. We'll get started straight away. So Erica and Megan, what age is that? I am 17. 17. Cool. So, what was your thoughts before starting with us? Did you put it off for a while, and why if you did? Uh, I put it off for a year. A year? Yeah, because I was afraid of coming in. Because like, I go to the gym, like the local gym, and I go on the treadmill and go again. Like, I was afraid like of like, the environment, and, like, the weightlifting, and like, the experience and all that. Yeah, speak up. Erica? <laughs> I just like couldn't match myself to the moments. Just thought it's all I could like, do. Well, I thought you were going to get big and bulky. No, I just I didn't, couldn't imagine myself like in the gym actually like doing like that. Just, like, yeah. I just like literally tried to look the same as Megan. Okay. Alright, second question. What surprised you about working with us? How like you weren't like so mean and stuff. Yeah, you mm. weren't judgmental. Yeah, you weren't judgmental. You could be open and honest. And like, you could talk to you about anything. <laughs> Especially boys. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, you just go crack to be around as well. Like, it's not really like training, it's fun. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It should be fun. Yeah. You got anything to add to that, Erica? You know, it just wasn't like intimidating as like in the other gym, like you go in and yeah. everyone's there like going so at it hard and where you're like giddy face, like you, you want to know what to do. Mm -hmm. So it's less intimidating. Well, at the start you were so intimidating. Yeah, at the start you, I don't think you spoke at all. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. I was just scared, I was like, oh, it's like, okay, <laughs> that works too. <laughs> uh, what did you enjoy most about working with me? What was the hardest part for you? The hardest part was coming in tired, extremely tired, like trying to get through that, but like you made it easier if I were able to have a crack and like mm. make it easy. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I just thought the hardest part was like when I wasn't in a good mood or like something else was going on like in the background. Yeah, yeah. So it was, like if you weren't there like trying to be like just, oh just do it, don't think about it. And, Cause you know when I came in like really stressed yeah. and I went out like, so. Yeah. Like I didn't expect myself to actually like calm down. Yeah. Um, so it was And what did you enjoy most? The experience. Like, like we like looking back like five months ago, we would never think that like we'd be lifting weights <laughs> and like going on hack <laughs> squat <laughs> and like all that. No, we just completely different person. Yeah, cool. Erica. The food. The food. 
food must have been a big thing for you because before you came, was it you were doing uni slim, too? Yeah. And like, I know, it's just when we came in and you were saying like 2,000 calories, well not like the first day, but when yeah. you said it was up to 2,000 calories, and I just couldn't believe how much I was eating. And like all the other times we went and I was getting like, not screamed at me, you know, you kind of get like, felt disappointed when the scale went up. Yeah. Because every week you weigh yourself. And now it's like, I can eat good food and like more good food. And like not to worry about the scales. Yeah. I'd say you're eating like 800 calories max on the Yeah. And uh, like other diets as well. It just made you realize how much, like, is it like not brainwashing, but like it's just so bad for like, young people to be doing that. Yeah. Jeff, did you mind like not, not, not doing the trip at all? Oh, sorry, can you hear it? Sorry. Yeah, I saw it. Cheers. Okay, next question. Did you ever feel like cool? Um, not really, no. Because, like, you know, once like, you felt like giving up, like, you think of the bigger picture in the long run. Yeah. And, like, you just stay focused like, while you're doing it. Like, did you feel, did you not feel like quitting when you hurt your foot that time? Yeah. How did you feel? Yeah, I felt like I couldn't do anything, and like it was that didn't look like coming back. But I came back, and you told me something different. Yeah. You inspired me to continue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just train. We just we. You realize you could train around it, and it wasn't the end yeah. of the world. I'm not quitting. Like I, there's been days where I'm just like, what do I do? But then I just. Like I think about it, like I, I'm eating right, I'm actually getting exercise and before this I wouldn't even like dream of getting my four days in. Yeah. But like there has been a time where I literally thought like I can't do anything, like put my back especially, like yeah. you know, like ordeals and stuff. I just, I just, I wanted to give up then, but then when you like said you can change, like you don't have to do that one. And I was just like surprised that I could still do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you feel like you'll continue weight training and nutrition like you did working with me and is it sustainable? Definitely sustainable and we'll definitely continue because like, we have each other like if I didn't have yeah. Eric, I'd like, I'd like, I'd probably would look at mom and go here again but like we're going to be nagging each other definitely <laughs> um, yeah because like it'd be a waste to just throw it away like when you're yeah. like seeing progress yeah it's Sorry. even good, like, you know, like, when you go up a weight, like, let's say you're doing 2.5 and you say, oh, do 5 state, and you actually can do it. It's just, like, a reward, like, you know, yeah. you're strong enough. Mm -hmm. And the diet is so sustainable, like, yeah. you, like, if you go off, like, bad one day, you can still hop on the next day and be sound. Yeah. Like, I feel like if we stop, like, mentally, we're, like, going to be affected as well. Yeah. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. People, it's hard to get across to, um, it's hard to get across to people who don't exercise regularly or weight train just what it does for your head. Like they, it's like you don't understand it unless you actually just go and do it. You can't, you can't simply just tell someone, oh, it's just good for your head. Like this, they won't know what you're talking about until they actually just go and do it. Would you agree? Would you have been in the same mind frame before you started training? Yeah, you see like the posts on Instagram and all the ads, so good. You come in here and like you actually feel a lot better leaving than you do like going. And that's the most important thing, you should always feel better when you're leaving here than when you came in. Was the nutrition and training what you thought it would be? Was it complicated or easy to grasp? I thought the food was a bit hard to like, get into it because we were so into eating, but then we kind of just planned our time and planned our food and the yeah. whole thing is literally planned and it's like organized yourself. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, basically. <laughs> oh, I look forward to this question. Being being in school, Erica and Megan are both in fifth year. Did you find it expensive personal training? It's it's affordable. Like if you're gonna like spend money on something else, like why? Like you're gonna go out and buy like dresses and shoes and like makeup and all this mm -hmm. thing. Like you could save it and like actually use it for something more beneficial than that. Yeah. yeah so it's affordable. Yeah, which I, I, I 
like me, Keen, and Kev, like kind of get all into it because we have people, we have people who would who have like high working jobs saying, oh, they like they're stopping because they can't afford it, which is money. I just don't think is ever the problem. I just think it's the person's just attitude towards towards their training. I think it's like even if it is expensive, which is not like it's worth it like you get to see yourself change into such a different person like at first I thought it would be expensive but then as I like said like as I was going through the weeks I was like it's actually worth it like because if you buy like a jacket let's say or something it's like, like worth like 200 euro and let's say you actually don't like it like that's 200 wasted yeah well this money is actually like being used up and like making you a better person like Erica awesome. didn't want to do like two extra months but like when she sat back from yeah, that, exactly. like, she's yeah. like okay it's actually very well to do it. Yeah. It's addictive, so. It's very addictive. Yeah. <laughs> That's another thing you can't. People hear about and then until you get doing it, you don't understand. Well said. Um, what's the most important thing you've learned from your time here? To take time out for yourself. Because it's, you see like people going around like very like uptight and stressed. And like you come in here and you leave that and like it's beneficial. So you found it to be just taking time, taking the time to, to come in here to relieve stress, yeah. to give yourself that hour of the day where you're not like just stressed and thinking about everything. It's a good point. Erica? Mine's kind of like on mental as well. It's just like don't let your mind like take over you. Like let's say you're doing a workout and you're just like, oh, I'm not going to do it. And then you're obviously not going to do it. Like that happened to me so many times. And you always see when I'm like, no, I'm not going to do it. And then you like can see that I don't do it. So I just like the most important thing that I always tell myself is like, you can do it and yeah. you will do it. So, yeah, you need to practice that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what advice would you give someone looking to start training but is nervous about it? Definitely do it. Like we threw ourselves into it. We're like, we like thought about it. November, did you say? Mm -hmm. Like together, like last year or something like that. But um, we're like, oh no, we'll wait, we'll wait, we'll wait. But like, we're like, just do it, just throw yourself into it. So we DM'd Kevin and he came in here. But just throw yourself into it because it is beneficial. Like anything new, it's obviously like hard to grasp and hard to like throw yourself into. It's just. Like, as we said, like, just don't think about it, just do it. And even if you're nervous, you'll be nervous for the first day, and then afterwards, it will sound. And if you don't want to go alone, take a friend. <laughs> yeah, like, we religious are always together. Yeah, and like, it's a lot easier. Easy. Exactly. Yeah. It's easier with a friend, especially, like, you're going through the same thing, you're too, like, new, like, the too be closer. Like, yeah. <laughs> 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 Are you happy with what you have achieved in the last five months? Yeah. Yeah. Elaborate. Uh, <laughs> the weight loss and like my ability to like lift weights. Yeah. Because yeah. like I've been like for like majority of my childhood I've been trying to like lose weight and like this is the only thing that's worked for me. Yeah. happy with the progress of my strength. I didn't think I could be this strong, like, you know, getting stronger and stuff. Yeah, no girls do. Girls really don't see themselves. Like, as you said before, you just don't see yourself in this environment. You think it's for lads, like, how can you get strong? So, I see it all the time when girls train here and they make progress, like, how, like, what that does to them as a person. Like, they just gain a new, just new confidence, self-esteem, everything. Yeah, you're like press. <laughs> yeah, you're just like press 100 kilos yesterday. It's like it's very rewarding, like with like anything. Like, let's say last week you're on five, and then the next week you could be on seven point five. I think it's just so rewarding for yourself, and you know you're getting stronger, and you know that you can do more, and you just keep going up and up. And it's addictive. Yeah, it really. Is. You won't stop till you get the heaviest weight. Really. It's competitive. <laughs> oh, it is. It's competitive. It is. But competitive with who? Yourself. You do. Me. That's it. So that concludes the interview. I want to say thank you to Megan and Erica.
They're actually finishing up in two weeks. Next Friday. Next Friday, yeah. Next Friday. It's going to be an emotional one. You're going to cry. You better oh, cry. cry. Too bad the camera won't be there. <laughs> no, we have like formed a bond. Like we came in and we we're so brave. Like, yeah, we were like, we're kind of. Now we're like to the piss out of you. Like, yeah. It's funny. Yeah, you know, the, what's been nice for me to see, the nice thing for me to see was how shy and timid you were at the start. It's not saying a word. <laughs> <laughs> and just how much you've opened up now and just you've shown who we are as well. Like you just came up and just you were able to be yourselves. Which is great for me to see. I always want anyone to be like very comfortable in especially this environment where it can be very intimidating. And the two year young girls compared to like well I can always say young people in here like Amy like got you two in here. But uh, you're some of the youngest, so it's it's good that how comfortable that you did get in here. Awesome job over the last five months. Oh, oh you gotta smack that hair. <laughs> <laughs> so that concludes the video. Uh, again, thanks to Erica and Megan. And if you enjoyed, yeah. So um, like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm Megan on Snapchat, but Megan can follow Erica on Instagram, Erica over. <laughs> Megan Tierney with two X's. No, that's very significant. Megan's on Twitter. Do you turn up? If you really want to get into gym, get Jordan Peterson book. It's oh. Yes, Jordan Peterson. <laughs> Repeal exactly. the fade. <laughs> oh yes, exactly. Repealing the fade. Very well. <laughs> well, very well. They agree. They like it. <laughs> We will not miss David's tunes or yeah, Keen's we'll migraine miss. music. We will miss Kevin's tunes. Those were good. They were good. They had that shit. Kevin's, oh my god. Kevin's she really is. good. Kevin's like girly and then it's like rap and it's like good music. Yours is like. Do you know who I think plays the best tunes? Jeff. Jeff. Oh yeah. Shout out, shout out to Jeff. <laughs> you, play, you play great tunes in fairness, Jeff. Not at all, man. Not at all. No, you're staying at it. I'm really doing this to your face, okay? <laughs> <laughs>